Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be talking money mistakes. Money mistakes that we are cutting off and avoiding totally this year, okay? So the mistakes I'm going to be sharing in this video are things that people would normally overlook and not consider money mistakes. So we are going to be tackling those so that we'll make sure that it's totally eradicated from our life, okay? So if you're interested, then continue watching. <laughs> So the first money mistake that you might be making is going with the flow. Going with the flow when it comes to money clarity. Some of us believe that we make a lot, so we don't do certain groundwork that is required to keep our money in check. We just go with the flow when it comes to spending. You don't know what is going in, you don't know what is coming out, and you don't even bother to know the prices of certain things. Yet you get surprised when it's not even the end of the month yet and it's all red even the richest people in the world track their spending because they want to still maintain that position and even grow higher so even if you don't want to change okay or you want to change here's a challenge for you track your spending for a week and see how much you spend in a week see the things don't control it whenever you get something keep the receipt or have a record on your phone so that you can calculate the amount of money that you have spent in a week some of us know that we have this problem in our life but we rather not stress our tender head because what you don't want to do the work involved uh the thing is that it's going to grow that problem is going to become worse. And the thing that you don't want in your life is a big money problem. So instead of letting that problem become huge, start solving it when it's still small. Do what is required. The second money mistake you might be making is allegedly saving money from sales. 70% of the time when people buy stuff on sale, they're not buying them because they need them. They're buying it because it's cheaper. Okay, we just like our wolf, that's all. Whenever you buy something that you don't need or something that you didn't plan for, whether it is on sale or not, you are spending impulsively. One of the major causes of impulsive spending is sales, okay? Because things are on sales, you think that you should grab the opportunity and buy those things because they are cheaper. You don't need them. You might not even need those things in a year to come. You might not even need them tomorrow. Stay away from sales when you don't have need for the things that are being sold. Build a strong discipline when it comes to sales, okay? Be able to say no to that sales lady when she's trying to sell something for you, telling you that it's 80% off. Build a strong discipline to say no. A good way to take advantage of sales is when you actually need something. Go out of your way to look for discount codes, you know, people that are on sales so that you can get those things. That's a good way to, that's when you have actually saved money from a sale because that thing is in your plan. That actual item is in your plan to buy. So, and you have allocated a, an amount of money to eat, but then buying it cheaper, you have money left from the amount of money you've already budgeted to buy that thing. That is when you are actually saving money from a sale, not when you are buying something that you absolutely do not need. So the next money mistake that you might be making is relying on one source of income. Hmm. If nothing, okay, has taught you to have multiple streams of income, 2020 should teach you that, okay? so. Putting all your eggs in one basket is highly risky. I know that most times running several businesses or managing multiple streams of income might be tedious. So some of us might just decide that it's easier to just focus on one and, you know, save strength. But please, it's so tempting. Do not do that. There are so many extra income options that are not taxing and requires little to no time to run. I have a video on my channel about that so I'm going to link that in my description box and also up here so that you can go and check after this. Even if you're making so much money from your single stream of income, okay, having multiple streams of income is not all about the extra money you're making, it's about security. Something might happen to that large stream of income and you wouldn't have anything to rely on. So having an extra stream of income is security on that aspect. So the next money mistake you might be making is taking money advice and investment advice from just anybody. There are a lot of videos on the internet, just YouTube. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about 
money and investments. So watch them, right? But before you decide to do something or put your money into something that you have seen on the internet, do your research properly. Ask questions, find out about things before you just dive into something. Because a lot of people are just churning out bad money advice and bad investment advice. And let's not forget that there is something called scam. People on the internet are not financial advisors, okay? Don't do what Mr. A or Ms. B is saying that they are doing because they seem to know what they are talking about. Do your research. Even outside the internet, family members and friends can give bad money advice. I've heard of several cases where a family member scammed the whole family of their money and where friends gave like horrible business advices and they became broke from taking their friends' advice. So whenever you want to do something with your money, before you put your money into anything at all, please do your research properly and be sure that whatever it is you want to do is okay and wouldn't cost you more harm than good. So the last money mistake you might be making is subscribing to unnecessary services. Take for instance, you might have subscribed to a service or, a, or an app uh, just for the trial version and had forgotten to cancel and at the end of the month a chunk of money is removed from your account money that you're supposed to put into something else or you're supposed to use for something else and it's gone it's not even that you're using the service it's not even that you're going to you're going to get the money back you're unable to get the money back and you're not going to use the service this is carelessness on your part so make sure that all the subscriptions that you have done that you're that are not in use are being cancelled even some of our regular subscriptions sometimes you have like regular subscriptions that you do and you have periods that you're not making use of it or maybe you traveled or you're not in need of that service or app at the moment and you still leave the subscription running that money that is going is money that you would have used for something else why not cancel when you're not using them and subscribe again when you have need for them so these are like basic mistakes that we make that we might not consider money mistakes but they are actual money mistakes because they are reading us of extra money okay they are reading us of the money we are supposed to put into other important things so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you gained a few things from this and you are well on your way to stop all the money mistakes that you might be making please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you're not and turn on your post notifications so you get notified each time i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye